Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this GED practice math test question that you see here on the screen. If you want to work directly with me and have me answer your questions, the video that's going to uh, come right after this quick intro is a video of me actually doing this question for one of my online GED course students. Again, the way my GED course works is that the course is already created, so you just jump into it and you do it at your own pace. But then as you go through and as you get stuck, and for example, in the video that you're just gonna see right following here, is gonna be one of my students asking me a question about how to actually do this question that you see here on the screen. So listen in, if you like it, I want you to do two things. I want you to like this video because when you like this video, YouTube will see people like it and then more people will be able to see it. So people like you will also be able to see this. And then the second thing is I want you to go into the video notes. So if you're watching this on your phone or you're watching this on uh, YouTube, look at the notes below the video. You might have to click an arrow or something to see it. But I want you to go and find out how you too can become part of this online GED course and have success on the GED map and also the other three tests, social studies, science, and reading, reasoning through language arts. Again, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, Anthony, follow. this is me getting back to your question uh, here on question number two. So Milton's mother's age is three times that of his sister Penelope. Milton is six years older than Penelope. Together, Milton's family has 136 years of age. Between them, how old is Milton? OK, so remember, everything we're doing um, is we are starting with uh, ID the question. So I'm just going to come up here and put ID the question. And remember, we're looking because it says here, how old is Milton? So we're looking for Milton's. I'm just going to abbreviate Milt. Milt's age. OK, then we have to state our path. And remember, that's just simply just pulling information out of the problem and seeing what we have. So Milton's mother is three times that of his sister, Penelope. So we're going to put mom. And we don't know how old Penelope is, so we're just going to let Penelope equal X. So mom is three times Penelope, or 3X. And then Milton is six years older than Penelope. So we'll go ahead and abbreviate Milt. And he is six years older than Penelope, so we'll take Penelope's age plus six years would give us Milton's age because he's six years older. And then we'll just abbreviate P for Penelope. Penelope is just X. We don't know how old she is. And then we know the total of all their ages together is 136. So what this is doing, uh, Anthony, is inviting us to set up an equation. Uh, so we're just going to put... Uh, the mom, Milton, and Penelope, and set it equal to 36 because we know that all of their ages together equals 136. Sorry, I said 36, but I meant to say 136. So we're just going to come down here and we're going to say x plus 6, that's Milton, plus Milton's mom is 3x because she's 3 times Penelope's age, and then plus x is Penelope. So we have Milton right here, we have mom right here, and we have Penelope right here. And then together they're equal to 136. So we're going to uh, combine like terms. And so x plus 3x is 4x plus another x is 5x plus 6 equals 136. So all I did was add the x's and then leave the six because it doesn't have any like terms and then uh, if you've watched some of the other videos i've posted here the copa method combining like terms by doing the opposite so the opposite of six is six and because this is an equation if we are going to subtract six from this side we're going to do it from that side to keep it equal because when i take six from here and take six from here the equation stays equal so then you know, 6 minus 6, of course, is 0. It leaves me with 5x, and 136 minus 6 is 130. And so we're still want, wanting to do the opposite to whittle down, because remember, our goal is to get x equals something. So then this is x times 5, and equals 130. So 
The opposite of multiplication is division. So instead of multiplying x by 5, we're going to divide it by 5. And of course, if I do it to this side, then I'm also going to do it to this side. 5 divided by 5 is 1, or just leaving x or 1x. 130 divided by 5 equals 26. So now the temptation here would be to say the answer is 26. But remember, our question up here, and let me get a different color for emphasis, is Milton's age. And we know x is Penelope's age. So if we put 26 in this box, that answer is going to be wrong. So what we have to do is go to Milton's, which is x plus 6. So now we have to do 26 plus 6 years, which is going to give us uh, 32 years. And then that is Milton's age. So again, uh, the step one, excuse me, got a five flying in my face here. Step one is to identify the question, which we want to know how old is Milton. And then the next step is to state your path. So we know that Milton's mother is three times out of his sister. So we said that's 3x. We know that Milton's is six years older than his sister. So we, that's Penelope's age plus six years more. That's Milton's age. And then Penelope is just good old x. And because we know the total of all their ages together is 136 years, we can set up the equation. So here x plus 6 represents Milton, 3x represents mom, and then x represents Penelope. And that's all equal to 136. And then we just go down and solve the equation from there. So now let me go ahead and um, I'm going to remove all that writing. And again, you know, you can easily go back and um, uh, re rewind this video to see what I wrote. But I just want to put in 20, oh, 26 there. That's going to be wrong again, like we talked about. So, so we know that 26, if we put 26 there, we know that's going to be wrong. But now we go ahead and put 32, submit. And of course, that's correct because that is Milton's age. So I hope that helps, Anthony. Uh, and keep your questions coming. Thank you.